sister? Yes, dear sister. Isn't it weird that there's an occult club at this school? Why would they allow something like that? I thought humans were afraid of the occult. I heard that the faculty were planning to reject the proposal for an occult club, but the headmaster himself authorized it personally. He said that there was no harm in allowing the students to research fictional things in their spare time. Fictional? <laughs> in recent years, fewer and fewer people have been applying to become students at Academy. It's probably due to the school's reputation for strict rules, harsh punishments, and high standards. The headmaster has been making a strong effort to turn the school's reputation around. He wants Academy to become known as a place where students have as much freedom as possible. That's why we're allowed to wear accessories, use makeup, and bring our phones to school. The headmaster's new policy is to provide students with as much freedom as reasonably possible. And that's probably why he authorized the occult club. Wow, sounds like a great guy. Well, I'm not sure about that. I've heard some unsavory rumors about him. Really? Tell me, sister, tell me! Now, now, dear sister. Gossip is quite distasteful. Let's not speak ill of others. Aw, you're no fun. Hey, sister? Yes, dear sister. I saw a baseball bat and soccer balls in the gymnasium, but this school doesn't have a baseball diamond or a soccer field. Why would the school have things that students can't even use? This school doesn't have enough space for most sports activities, so Akademi has a deal with a nearby school. Sports teams from Akademi are allowed to practice in that school's field, as long as they bring their own equipment. That's why you can find sports equipment being stored here. Oh, that makes sense. But this school doesn't have a baseball team or a soccer team. Not this year. But in previous years, those teams did exist. I heard that it's prestigious to be part of a sports club. Why are so few people interested in sports at this school? For over three decades, Akademi presented itself as a prestigious school for young intellectuals. Science and technology-focused clubs have always been more popular than sports clubs at this school. Oh. So, like, this is a school for nerds? For a long time, that was how the general public perceived Academy. However, the headmaster has been attempting to rebrand Academy as a place where all types of people are welcome. I've seen the sports club running and swimming, but I've never seen them playing any actual sports. The leader of the sports club wants to compete in triathlons at the Olympics, so she's been focusing on running, swimming, and biking. That's why the sports club specializes in those areas. Wow, you know everything, sister. Hey, sister? Yes, dear sister. This school's logo is a Sakura flower, right? Why is there a different logo on the gate above the school? The emblem above the school gate is the logo of the Psycho Corporation. They originally built this school, and they still fund it to this day. That's a technology company, right? Why would they build a school? The founder of Psycho Corp wanted to provide the best possible school experience for his daughter. So he ordered the construction of an entire academy, just for her. He let her design everything about it. From the shape of the building, to the name itself. Wow, he sounds like a great dad. But why is this the first time I'm hearing about it? In modern times, the Psycho Corporation does not attempt to make Akademi part of its public image. Psycho Corp began distancing itself from Akademi starting in the early 90s, after a certain... controversy. Ooh, sounds juicy. Tell me all about it, sister. Oh, sister. How many times must I tell you? Gossiping is quite unseemly. Yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> By the way, dear sister, Psycho is a very important name in this world. If you speak as though the name is unfamiliar to you, you will draw a lot of suspicion. Got it. Thanks for looking out for me, sis. Sister? 
Yes, dear sister. I feel like this school is missing a bunch of rooms it should have. Like a boiler room, for example. How does this place even function? There is a boiler room, but the entrance is hidden. In fact, there are many secret rooms. The school was designed so that anything irrelevant to the students would be hidden from plain sight. Wow, really? 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. is cleaning time, when students clean up the school. However, after 6 p.m., when all the students are gone, a team of workers shows up to do maintenance and repairs that students wouldn't be able to take care of themselves. Whoa, I didn't know that! It's another decision that was made by the young woman who this school was built for. When something about this school seems peculiar, the answer is usually, the girl who designed this place wanted it to be that way. Where is she now? That's a good question. Her last public appearance was around 30 years ago. What? She went missing? That's a pretty big deal. What happened to her? <laughs> who knows? You can't fool me, sister. Whenever you laugh like that, it means you're hiding something. Sister? Yes, dear sister. It's been a whole week and we still haven't found any sign of what we're looking for. Have patience, sweet sister. It's too soon to give up. We just have to keep looking. But I'm getting so bored here. So far, the only interesting thing we've found is that girl. Hey, do you think she's one of them? Perhaps. What if she is? I suppose we might do something about it. <laughs> Sounds fun! <laughs>